Thank you. We are going to get right to our top story. A woman is dead in Elizabethtown after a shooting Wednesday night. Police say they responded to Hennon Lane just after 830. That's where they found 37 year old Kenyatta McWilliams with a fatal gunshot wound. According to her family, the, sum, the suspect is someone McWilliams was just trying to help. WHS 11's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Aspen Hester report from Hardin County. In one tragic moment, she was gone. 37 year old Kenyatta McWilliams was shot and killed this week at her Elizabethtown home. According to Kenyatta's family, the suspect is a stranger. She was helping get back on his feet. An hour after the shooting, police arrested 34 year old Chris Bell Jr. Kenyatta's loved ones are grieving. She opened the door for everybody. Our home was open to anybody who needed help. She was there to help them. They tell us Kenyatta had a selfless heart, saying her main concern was always making sure everyone had a roof over their heads. She had her own personality. She really didn't. She didn't care. A lot of people crap just took her people. Now they're shocked that someone so caring could have their life taken away so soon. Family members say Bell, who is charged with murder, is someone can yet a help from time to time. But the family says things took a turn for the worse Wednesday night when she asked him to leave. He just didn't want to leave, I guess. And we tried to tell him to leave and closed the door on him and locked it. And we thought that was it. Cindy McWilliams, Kenyatta's partner, says Bell being behind bars isn't enough to relieve her pain. I want him to feel the pain we feel. But she's grateful for the dedication of officers finding Bell that same night. It helped me to see that her life had meaning. I've never seen that many police out in the small I town of town. Now the family is hoping for justice and that Bell takes his time to think about the life he took away. Taylor Woods, WHAS 11, on your side. The suspect, Chris Bell Jr., is charged with murder and is being held at the Hardin County Detention Center on a $1 million cash bond. Kenyatta McWilliams' family has started a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses. If you'd like to donate, we have a link in this story on our website, whas11.com. Gun violence does continue to be a major issue in the metro. 150 people died and more than 400 were injured in shootings this year alone. That's according to the latest numbers from LMPD. It marks the fourth year in a row Louisville has surpassed triple digit homicides. And while the total has gone down the last couple of years, community activists say the eye popping numbers feel stagnant. To me, unfortunately, we're still stuck in this pattern that is an uptick and we haven't seen a down, a down we have not seen a downward spiral in four years the evidence is pretty clear on that christopher 2x works with survivors of gun violence and families impacted by it he tells us it'll take a concentrated effort from everyone working together to bring those numbers down now to an update on a kidnapping in North Carolina with ties to the Commonwealth. A Kentucky man is accused of keeping a missing teen locked under a trap door in his bedroom. 34 year old Zachary Jones was identified by deputies in Lincoln County. That's just south of Lexington, about two hours from us here in Jefferson County. Court records show police responded to his home on Christmas after his mom called to report a domestic violence situation with someone she described as his girlfriend. When they searched his home, police found a 16 year old behind a trap door hidden by a rug in his room. The teenager told police he picked her up from her home in North Carolina. She also said Jones sexually assaulted her and gave her drugs. He's now facing several charges, including rape and unlawful imprisonment. A newly elected town council majority will be naming a new police chief in Clarksville. The town council will announce Captain Nathan Walls as the city's new police chief during its Tuesday meeting. Walls will replace current police chief Mark Palmer from the post he's held for 12 years. Some current and former town council members are now openly condemning the move. I understand that, but to change something that's working and and it's good for the town uh, is just just nonsensical. If you stack up any of their resumes to Mark, Mark Palmer's, they're going to lose. Mark, Mark Palmer's been there 33 years. You know, I, I haven't met one person that has a bad thing to say about this guy. In a statement, Clarksville Town Council Vice President Karen Henderson told WHAS 11 News, the council says, quote, this is not a demotion, this is a reappointment, which happens when new mayors and councils are elected. We appreciate Mark Palmer's service as chief the last 12 years and are looking forward to a new era.